Hey friends, how are you? I hope you're having a great day today. Today we will be creating a bulldozer. So let's get started. The first thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to create the cab part of your bulldozer. So we're going to cut a couple of inches or a few centimeters down from the top and a couple of inches or a few centimeters uh, coming off of the left hand side. And we're going to create a somewhat large box. So straight line, straight line, straight line, and straight line. So there's our box. That's going to be the cap. Inside of that box, we're going to create another box. These lines are going to run parallel to the first lines that you've created. Inside this box, what we're going to do is we are going to create a seat for our bulldozer operator. So we come out from the lower area of our inside line, we make a straight line, and then we make a straight line coming down. To create the actual seat, go to the middle of your box and make a straight line up, a little tiny straight line over, and a straight line down, but we're not going to touch the box. We are going to come over with our line, and then we are going to come down. This is going to be the seat for our bulldozer operator. Let's create a steering wheel. So for a steering wheel, we make a slanted line, a slanted line, and connected to those slanted lines, we are going to make a very long rectangle. That is going to be our steering wheel. Now down here at the bottom, we're going to create our gears. So there's a slanted line with a little straight line at the top, and that's going to be the letter T, isn't it? And then we close that up with a semicircle. If you'd like to add a few more details inside here, go ahead and do that. Now what we're going to do is we are going to make the engine part of our bulldozer. So what we're going to do is come about halfway down our line, and we're going to make a line coming out, and a line coming out, and the distance is going to be about the same in length for these two lines. Now we're not going to close this up yet because we are going to create a part of our bulldozer that holds onto the bucket that pushes dirt around. So we're going to make a slanted line that's kind of short and another slanted line that's also kind of short. And then we're going to close up this area right here. Let me show you how you do that. So we're going to make a straight line down skip over that area that you just drew and then come back down and then we're going to come over a little bit come over a little bit and do the same thing straight line down skip over just like that all righty so what we're going to do next is we are going to create the actual bucket so to create the actual bucket we're going to hook it onto this area right here so it's a so we're going to create a straight line coming out from that bucket and another straight line coming out from that bucket. And it might look like it's just kind of hanging out in the air, but we're going to put a track right here that is surrounding it. So let's close up those two lines. And then let's also close up these two lines up here. There we go. Now to create the track that will allow the bulldozer to move around, what we're going to do is we are going to create a track down here and it's going to be a pretty long oval and we're not going to be touching this cab or this engine. Let me show you what I mean. So when I'm creating this oval, I just go right along the bottom pretty close, but I'm not touching. And then when I get to the end, I come around, I jump over this particular line and then I come back around like this and then I close it up with a curved line. So this is my oval. Now connected to my oval, what I'm going to do is I am going to create the actual track, which are going to be some upside down U's, just like this. And I'm going to be very careful when I'm creating these because I wanna do a really good job. So basically I'm going to go all the way around this oval on the outside, and I'm going to create this track 
and I want to make sure if I hit any to any lines that I skip right over them. So I go all the way around. And like I said, I'm going to take my time because I want to do a really, really good job. Sometimes in art, if you go very slowly, you can do your best work. There we go. Okay, I'm really happy with that now. So inside of our track, what we're going to do is we are going to create some lines that follow along our initial lines and close up just like that. And maybe even put a big bolt right here. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of detail. So if you'd like to add uh, maybe like a vent area right here on the engine where some air can come in to cool off the engine, you can make a, a square or a rectangle to do that. And then maybe even put some lines inside, some vertical lines, just like that. And if you'd like to create maybe a light and representing the light being on, you can just make some little lines coming out. If there's anything else that you'd like to add to your bulldozer, now's the time you can do it. Any other detail that you'd like to put in the cab or on the engine or on the track. If you'd like to create some dirt down here, because when this, ha when this gets extended down, then it can actually scoop up some dirt. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed this project. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.